I cannot see you're, you're I'm gonna biggest... die. I literally think that I'm okay. So I'm more aggressive when Turkish people when it comes to driving. You're so? French, Nina. You're not only aggressive. When it comes to competition, is it something that kind of motivates you to do better? Because sometimes when I think, like when it comes to either the writing or the other things I like to do, when I see other people do it on such a great scale, it makes me feel like, okay, what the hell are you thinking? You're not gonna be that. You stop it. Do you get that? Yeah, I do, but I think there is something with me that I'm my biggest competition. My you're biggest not your com biggest competition, you're your biggest am. critic. Yeah, but I'm also but when my, it comes to competition, I compete like, against myself. Like yesterday somebody sent me um, a link for a villa that was sold for like twenty million dollar in Dubai in Barari and I literally answered good for them. The only thing which we already talked about is like I do feel the most talented people are the most yeah. like low key. It took me all those years to not really deeply compare myself to other people that are doing what they're doing in my field. Did people, you ever compare yourself? Yeah, of course. You know, it's like when you see those offices and you're just like, how can they be? Do they have the problems that we do? Nena, my friend, so she's working with an architect right now. And so she called me, she's like, listen, even him, he complains about the same thing that, and he's very famous. He complains about the same thing that you complain. You never know what your competition is going through. You know, it's like us, you know, in our social media, not to just show the good. The other day, Bernard called me and he was like, okay, stop trying negative stuff. I'm like, I'm not trying negative stuff. I'm showing the freaking reality, you know? Sometimes when I see other people and just like, is it that easy for them, the projects? Do they ever have issues with contractors? Do they ever have issues with suppliers? You don't see it, you know what I mean? In that, that's why like, because they I, don't get, share it. I get like envious success. of like, how the f can I do all of this? But one thing that I really suffer from, and you know it, is I'm so alone in this. I see other people, they have partners, business partners. But is that like, something you want? I was telling you something important and I forgot it. You were talking about you don't have support in this. Yeah, so you it's like... How good of a listener you, you, I am. Uh, and Ulus is where the, the club where I want to take... So we can dance like this. My friend Salim. No. <laughs> Hi Salim. Out of the blue, I called him and I'm like, Salim, I need help. I need support. You don't understand the three weeks that he was with us on site, the relief it gave me. So that's why, like, sometimes I'm envious of my competitors because I see, you know, they have business partners. I have they a very have, serious question. They have a, a director of operation. If that's the thing that you're lacking, then why isn't your team that supportive? Because I couldn't find it. Look at the example of I hired this guy to do our project man. It was a disaster. Mm. So, you know, it's not like I haven't tried. But you can always try different people. You know, yeah, if it's, it's such a Yeah, I know, problem. but as, as a small business, it's not easy to hire people that are very expensive. As a small business like mine, I would need somebody like Salim, who is his competence, is somebody that deserves to be paid like twelve, thirteen, fifteen thousand dollar a month. For a business to be a small business to be able to afford that, you need to have the cash flow that follows, you know? Like you're gonna try for three months, you've you've thrown in the garbage thirty thousand dollar. You know, it's not like you're trying a meal plan, okay you don't like it one month. It's not like that, no? Does this dog blend? You know she's simple. Hello? Monkey! Oh my god, Ziad, what? No, she's napping. Maybe she's not well. Look, her ears. Hello? Why is she sleeping on the floor like this? Ginger sleeps like this, and no one has a home. Ginger doesn't sleep in the middle of the highway. She should, that's where she belongs, my 